Um, hello, my name is Ron Ray, and I've been asked to say a few words on what Remembrance Day means to me. I completed military service in the Army in artillery from 1965 to 1975, and I've been an active member of the RSL for many years, and on Australia Day 2020, I was awarded an OAM, Medal of the Order of Australia, for services to the Australian community. I've been a volunteer with the Sydney Harbour Federation Trust for 12 years, across a range of roles, but particularly with Australia's Memorial Walk uh, at North Head Manly, which has four and a half thousand pavers of commemoration to servicemen and women who served in the defence of Australia in peace and in war. At 11am on the 11th of November 1918, the guns on the Western Front fell silent after more than four years of continuous warfare and World War I ended. The 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month attained a special significance in post-war years. The moment when hostilities ceased on the Western Front became associated with remembrance, gratitude and respect, thanks, honour, reflection and recall of all those who have died in war and conflict. Remembrance Day is not about war, glorifying war. It is a day where we stop in a moment of two minutes silence, we reflect and we commemorate all those who have died in the, for the freedoms we enjoy and have today. We remember not only those who gave their lives in the service of their country, but also their families and loved ones, and all those who have lived through those periods of conflict and who also made sacrifices. Remembrance Day provides an opportunity to make sure they are not forgotten, lest we forget.